from your perspective, what were the what were what were the opposite struggles, and why do you think you guys struggled so much? Um, well, we didn't capitalize on some of the mistakes they made early in the game. Like defense held us out a lot, and we couldn't uh, move the ball well against those guys. At halftime, it was 17-3 they were leading, but a couple of pass plays go the other way. You guys could have been ahead. Did you feel like that you had left too many points on the board? The oh, yeah, most definitely we left a lot of points out there as an offense, which we got to capitalize, for, get ready for next week. CJ, obviously you had to step in for Dorian. Just kind of, you feel like you had to take an extra responsibility in that game and just kind of value how you thought you played? Yeah, I uh, had to play Mike Linebacker. Uh, I thought I did pretty well. Um, it was something new, but you know, it was just something my team needed me to do, and I, I did that. I mean, obviously the points are what they are, and the score is what the score is, but I guess how would you evaluate how the defense played from start to finish? Uh, I think we played play pretty well. Uh, still some mistakes that we got to clean up. Um, we just basically, I mean, we just got to go into practice tomorrow and next week and just make the, make the mistakes a limit. <clears throat> For any of the players, do you come away from this thinking that, that you were outplayed or just outmanned, that their physical ability was too much? I don't think the physical ability was too much. I think it's just uh, capitalizing on the plays that we got to make. Uh, everybody got to do their part, and when that number's called, we got to make the play. JV, and that was the first time that Clemson has allowed an individual 100-yard rusher in 28 games. Do you take pride in that, or do you focus on other things? Focus on uh, next week. JV, for you, how different is it in the backfield without Hassan? Because you got a lot of carries today. Obviously, Hassan missed most of the game. So how different is that for you in the backfield? Uh, it's tough because, you know, like you said, Hassan is another great back. So when he can come in and give me a break, it, it help out big. You guys are four and three with five to go and no team flipped on the schedule. Like Clemson, you guys feel like a bowl trip is, is doable? We're just going to take it one game at a time, man. Win, win one game each week and see, what, see where it goes. Probably not going to keep just talk about the, the chances. Oh, yeah, we just got to attack <clears throat> every day. You know I mean, we can't dwell on this loss. You got to get better from it. Uh, come in tomorrow and correct the mistakes. Um, we control our own destiny from here on out. We just got to do the right things and uh, get back on track. What was Clemson, if anything, were they doing different defensively that threw off the passing game? I mean, uh, coming into the game, we thought they were going to give us a couple different looks, but majority of the time they was in some different stuff. Like every time we uh, – like freeze them, they'll change the coverages or change the player, and um, they got to us a little bit. So they just disguising things better. Yeah. That uh, touchdown that they scored right at the end of the first half, um, how do you think that sort of affected the, um, the momentum in the game for any other players? Uh, yeah, I think that was big. Um, maybe if we if we would have not let let them score a touchdown, they probably would have scored a field goal and it would have been thirteen three or well, thirteen three. So that was pretty big, but can't do well on that. Got to get better.